I'm Earl Stewart. I welcome you to Earl Stewart on Cars Mystery Shopping Report. Okay, uh, Mr. Shop of Mike Erdman and Nissan. Agent Lightning was back on the road again this week when she paid a visit to Cocoa Beach and Mike Erdman Nissan. It's always nice to get out of town, see what car dealers are up to outside of our usual stomping ground. We've delivered reports from all over the state of Florida, Miami to Pensacola, and we've identified some patterns. We discovered that the further away you get from South Florida, Sodom and Gomorrah, a.k.a the belly of the beast, Uh, the better the dealers tend to behave, except when you get close to the big metro areas like Orlando, Tampa, Jacksonville. We also learned that smaller family-owned dealerships are on average a little better. I mean, there's there's some pretty nasty ones out there. They're not saints. In general, exactly, yeah. Uh, Unfortunately, we've also found out that during these pandemic-induced once-in-a-lifetime market conditions, it's entirely predictable what will happen at most, if not all, dealerships. We know that the prices given to Agent Lightning for new cars will be over MSRP. We know that in about 75% of the time, the dealers will have an addendum consisting of thousands of dollars in extra charges for cheap, dealer-installed junk. 100% of them will have some form of junk fee or fees, hidden fees, dealer fees. I mean, you, the problem is they are clever enough, the dealers are clever enough to change the names of all the uh, extra profit that they're making so they have tag agency fee guess what it, you're not paying the tag agency anything they have electronic filing fee nothing to do with a license it's just a profit they're making uh for the work that they should do in their delivery of the car to you the disturbing conclusion that we're coming to is that there is no sanctuary for the new car buyer anywhere in america during this time in history operation report i am agent lightning first person My son and I arrived at the dealership early evening. We were struck by how huge and new the facilities were. We were greeted by a salesperson as we emerged from my car. His name was Christian, and he uh, went out of his way to shake both of our hands and asked what brought us in. I told him I was there to buy a car for my son. I said we were trying to keep our price under $30,000 out the door. Christian asked us to uh, follow him inside so he could show us what he had available. There were a few new vehicles in the showroom. We headed over and started browsing. After a few minutes, we settled on a new 2022 Nissan Rogue. Christian said he had a new Rogue Sport. We could drive it off to pull it around for us. He made a copy of our licenses and asked us to meet him outside. The car had an MSRP of $26,560 plus $2,000 market adjustment, making Mike Erdman's list price $28,560. Christian told us that if we buy today, we can get either a $100 Visa gas card or $350 worth of fireworks from across the street. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. That's, that's uh, when you get out of South Florida. Yeah, that's it's kind slightly of a, rural. That's a small town. Yeah. Uh, my son drove on the test drive, and we listened to Kristen's description of the car features. We returned to the dealership, found the same desk we used before Christian didn't sit down. He was off to see his sales manager. My son and I sat down and waited and waited. Our salesman was gone for 17 minutes. Then he returned with two forms for me to sign. One was so he could get the numbers. You had to sign a contract before they'll tell you the price. This is the game, folks. Okay, one was so he could give me the numbers, and the other, the second contract, was a privacy notice that assured me that he would not sell my information. Let me interject. I know what it was, go ahead. Well, we're, we're required to have uh, privacy notices um, with every deal. The fact that it comes up at this stage is beyond me. This is something you sign in the in a finance office. Yeah. You know what it says? What it says is we can harass you to death when you leave here and we can use your phone number and your email address and your home address you 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 are you give us the permission to contact you right. whether or not you buy a car i signed the forms and then the sales manager suzanne came over suzanne sat down chatted with us for a minute at some point she wondered aloud where christian was uh, and then left to find him we waited for four minutes and the two of them returned together i wonder what she said where the hell were you okay. i'm not going to sell the car for you Suzanne reviewed uh, the worksheet. The sale price was twenty eight thousand five sixty, same as the price on the addendum, two thousand over sticker MSRP. Next came six hundred and six 
in taxable fees. That's a new name. See, this has been popular for a few years. Taxable fees. See, I, I, they might have got that from us on the show. I said the way to tell a phony charge from a real government fee is do you pay sales tax on it? And that, that's the acid test. So they said, oh, that's pretty good. That's obscure. We will just say taxable fees. So that's what they call them. BS fees, profits of the dealer, are also now called taxable fees. Okay, here we go. 2000 over MSRP plus BS 606 in taxable fees and $899 dock fee, which is also a taxable fee, but they call that $899 a dock fee. Deception, you know, uh, ob obscuring the true price of the car. Real price was $3,505 over MSRP. Okay. I said I may have a hard time convincing my son's father to pay for these extras. I asked what the $606 in taxable fees were. Oh, I love this. Suzanne said it was for window tent, <laughs> pinstripes, and road noise installation. I have never seen taxable fees uh, for right. that. For that's that not, right. That, that's not that, fees. That Those are prices. That's They're a price. prices, not fees. They're prices. Yeah, they're selling you a window tent and bench stripes and road noise insulation. She said it was similar to the undercoating package that came on all new Toyotas. Uh, it doesn't come on all new Toyotas, just to all the dealers that agree to only, buy. Only evil Toyotas. Yeah, Erdman is exercising his knowledge of how slick Southeast Toyota the distributor is, and he's using some of their ideas yeah. and, and applying it, it to his Nissan dealership. So there you are. I asked if there was any room on the price, and Suzanne said her hands were tied. Blame the market. She said if I was ready to go into finance right now, she'd knock a few hundred dollars off the price. I said that wasn't going to do it. Thank them for their time. Christian walked us to the door. So there we have it. Another adventure in fantasy land of buying a car during the COVID uh, pandemic aftermath. And uh, $3,000 plus over sticker price. Mm -hmm. And we've got my Urban, Nissan, and... Uh, they are in Cocoa Beach. Uh, let's get our, our votes in. As far as my opinion, this sounds like a C grade to me. For myself, we'll go with the C minus. Nancy, what's the story? I give the dealership an F. I'm going to be a little harsher than Stu. Stu's a C. I'm going to do a C minus. Didn't like the fact that they used uh, taxable fees as a uh, tag for a dealer installed accessories. I mean, that to me, that was pretty deceptive. But one thing that you see more in small dealerships is old school. I mean, the old, the old they're, tactics. Yeah, right. They're they're the last to catch up to like yeah. kind of like the new cutting edge sort of things, and and, yeah. uh, and that's basically what we're seeing. C minus, I think, is a fair fair grade, and yeah, that wraps go. it up. Hi, this is Earl Stewart. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to be notified of new videos that we post to our YouTube channel, simply click on the subscribe button and the bell icon in the lower right-hand side of the screen.